Hey guys, it is NCS Fan 001 here, welcoming you to the start of another Let's Play Destroy All Humans 2. Now you're probably asking, yeah, I did this years and years ago on a crappy camera and crappy TV. Well, now I'm recording it with a much better, more mature voice, a better TV, and a capture card, and it's going to be so awesome because this is the PS4 port of Destroy All Humans 2. So, without further ado, let's get started. God, I've been waiting for this for so long. Rated T for teen. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. Has to give me a random thing one. there. Wait a minute, that's not it. Okay, that was weird. It like didn't trigger. I hit the start. Oh. Premier Comrade Mielenkov. Comrade agents, thank you for coming. Here's what we know so far. Ten years ago. The United States government covered up an invasion by an alien race known as Vurons. Their primary agent was this Vuron, Cryptosporidium-137. Dangerous, unpredictable, and now, deceased. So, what has been problem? The problem, comrade, is that Vurons can clone themselves and pose convincingly as human. And They've used these abilities to put Cryptosporidium-138 into the White House. <gasps> and the American people are not noticing? <laughs> no, no, right. Pull the other one. Even worse, this new Crypto clone contains pure Furon DNA harvested from human brains by Orthopox-13, mastermind of the invasion. He also bears a mysterious new mutation, referred to only as the package. These aliens pose a dire threat to the Soviet Union, comrades. And so, they must be destroyed. As we speak, President Crypto is in Bay City, attending a youth cultural festival. And Orthopox? Conducting experiments in the Furon mothership. Savages. Degenerates. There's only one way to deal with such men. What is the... Revolution. That can't be good. <laughs> Greetings, comrade. Mother Russia sends her regards. You expect me to beg, human? No, little Furon. I expect you to die. Mine's bigger. And that is the intro, guys. We are getting right in right now on this awesome game. So, uh, basically, what happened there? All right, I got to get used to the controls. Okay, R1 is shoot on the PS4. L1 is mind abilities. All right, I'm getting used to the controls because I haven't played the PS4 version yet, and the controls are a little bit different. So, the game is Destroy All Humans 2, one of the games that built this channel to anywhere near where it was, where it is today. And hopefully, will, in the words of our new president, make this channel great again. So, Destroy All Humans 2, the game follows an alien known as Cryptosporidium and his master or the Pox 13 or boss or friend, whatever you want to call him, as they have invaded Earth 10 years prior in the original Destroy All Humans. And now uh, the Soviet Union has destroyed the mothership and Crypto is going to exact revenge. Um, uh, unveiling, excuse me, unveiling a much larger conspiracy in the process. Your current goals are marked on the radar as paint markers, so as of re-watching my old original Let's Play of this game, it is so cringy, it's not even funny, but I'm really going to do my best to make this a really, really good Let's Play and still my best work on the channel, and wow, that was a big explosion. So I'm going to be doing my best to do this well. What <laughs> does that even mean? Seriously, Fox, like, what does that mean? Fricassee my hoverboard or whatever, motherboard? Oh, you gotta love the dialogue in these games. There's gonna be plenty of it. Psychokinesis, that's L1. I did figure that out by accident. Okay. 
and you can push it in or out if you want. All right. And we got another couple of Soviets here. So yeah, the KGB for now are the main enemy, but they will be eclipsed a bit later on as the conspiracy grows. And we got a cutscene here because I talked during way too many cutscenes in the original. Crypto! The mothership has somehow been destroyed! And I've been blown to smithereens! Luckily, I was able to download a copy of my exquisite mind into this holopox unit just before the ship exploded. Gee, that is lucky. Virtual pox, huh? Kinda constricting, ain't it? Well, beggars can't be choosers. The good news is ancient Furon landing beacons were left here eons ago during the war with the Martians. If you can find and activate one of those beacons, you'll be able to summon your saucer. Neat trick. And then I kick a little monkey ass. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, that's not good. We just exploded. So that's representing your shields. Uh, if your shield empties, Crypto will die. Crypto cannot touch water or he will die instantly, which is really stupid. That was never changed in any of the games. So, a new feature of this game is the way that the landing zones are unlocked compared to the original Destroy All Humans 1. So, in this game, landing zones are unlocked by talking to our Voodle statues and doing something for each statue. These can be anything from just shooting it to bringing in humans to all sorts of stuff. Arc Voodle is an ancient Furon god. He is the lord of the sacred crotch. We will get it, be getting more into that a little bit later, though. Arc Voodle statues mark the location of ancient Furon landing sites. Talk to him and satisfy his demands. Use thy languid Furon god to zap my idol with bolts of electricity. Attend the holy syllables of the great Arc Voodle. There are all supposed to be little puzzles. Most of them are pretty easy to figure out. He said zap with bolts of electricity. Shoot him with the zap Ah, uh, That green thing over there is the Furotex cell. We're not going to be dealing with those just yet. And let's call our saucer in. Oh, we got KGB agents coming in, eh? Well, Rusky, each of you gets to die by electricity, which is probably pretty painful, because I would think it would ignite most of the painful nerves in your body and make your death even more painful and satisfying, for crypto at least. Now, I will go ahead and point out one thing, guys. I think this run of the game is going to be longer. Okay, so it's touchpad to activate the pause menu in this version. I do think this game, this version of the Let's Play is going to be longer because I'm not skipping any cutscenes or talking over cutscenes or talking over dialogue or even trying to skip dialogue. I'm going to be trying to listen to most of it. So to give everyone a more complete experience, is like I said, that I want this to be a really, really good Let's Play. So just keep that in mind, it might be quite a bit longer than the original Let's Play of the game that I did all those years ago. Good work getting the saucer here, Crypto! No sweat. It needs to be aired out every 5,000 parsecs or so. <laughs> Pester pox for heavy weapons or tell him to get the saucer ready. So in this game, there is branching dialogue. You can choose whichever dialogue options you want. Sometimes choosing the wrong dialogue option will fail a mission. Sometimes it just gives you extra backstory, and sometimes it's just entertaining. I need to bring in some big guns. Uh, know where I can get my hands on some. I did manage to jettison some data cores before the mothership was hit. You might be able to recover some weapons from them, if you can find any. But it certainly won't be easy. Okay. Where so will I find the data cores? Where are the data cores? That's just it. They could have entered the atmosphere at any time, in any place, and therefore landed anywhere on the planet. I've managed to locate only one. It was ejected after my holopox unit, so it landed quite nearby. Okay, so as you can see here, we have four options now. We can quiz them on data cores. I'm not going to do that, though, because... Data cores are these little yellow items that you can pick up all over the world and they give you new weapons and abilities. 
Uh, we're going to have to collect all of them eventually, and I am trying to platinum trophy this game, but I'll talk more about that later. Let's give a lame excuse for not bringing guns. I didn't bring any with me. Figured uh, heavy artillery ain't exactly the smoothest way to charm the jeans off a pacifist hippie chick. I knew it! I knew <laughs> your unnatural interest in humans would bring us nothing but trouble! Whoa, 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 you're harsh in my buzz. Mellow out, Poxy. Easy for you to say. You weren't blown to pieces just seconds before restoring your own genitalia. <laughs> I love the dialogue in this game. There's so much good dialogue. Okay, let's tell him so to get the saucer get ready. Lying, huh? I'm itching for some serious payback. Not so fast, my ultraviolet minion. My scan of the engine core has revealed some critical damage. It appears the saucer took a hit, or 12, on the way here. No, 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 don't say it. I'm afraid we can't possibly take off until the engine is repaired. Ah, oh, man. All right, let's well, just go retrieve the data core. Nothing left to do but scout the area and find that data core. Let's do it. All right, where is our data core? Somewhere over here, guarded by oh, more Ruskies. Well, fortunately, they're very weak to the early Zaphomatic, which I'll makes our life easier. I'll talk more about like alert so level and stuff later on. Ooh, we have unlocked our jetpack now. That's awesome. We're going to be needing that a lot throughout the game because it's very helpful for getting around when you don't have the saucer with you. Uh, it's pretty low, pretty weak right now. Like, it's not upgraded at all yet, so it's kind of weak for now, but it will get much stronger later on once we upgrade it. And I'll talk more about upgrading later on, and of course I can't get up that far. I love how there's now shooting more than I was previously, and there was no alert level there for a second. So the Zapomatic is actually one of the best weapons in the game, surprisingly, despite being your default weapon. It's better than it was in the original game. It's very, very powerful, especially when fully upgraded. It can be easily one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Dislocator data core retrieved. All right. And your shields refill over time, as you can see. Hold square to activate the weapons uh, wheel. Okay, then. Oh, we got a cutscene. I don't understand it. We blew that alien spacecraft out of the sky, and yet the shriveled geriatric one somehow survived. The Shopas must be harder to kill than we thought. I spit on them. Nonetheless, inform the Kremlin <laughs> we shall proceed with the operation as planned. Tell them we need as much Revelate as they can ship, as quickly as they can ship it. Da, Agent Orencho. And our American distributor? He suspects nothing. In fact, he seemed quite enthusiastic about the whole idea. He thinks he'll be spreading revolution in a paper cup. And so he will. But not, I think, the sort he expects. The idealists. They spit on them! Stalin. He understood. <laughs> Ideas may start revolutions, but guns and gulags finish them. Well, no matter. Soon the citizens of Bay City will be embarking on a very bad trip. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound good. Mission complete. Trophy earned from Russia with hate. I am going to be attempting to be one of the first people to platinum this game in the world, and the way I'm going to do that is because unlike most of the games I Let's Play, this one has multiple save slots, meaning that I can play the Let's Play on one file and play on my own on another file, which is what I'm going to be doing so that I can try to platinum this game quickly and play through it and actually have experience with it again, which is going to make it better for you guys, as you guys will know, uh, or I'll know what to do so I won't be as lost. Whatever it is you're doing, I may have a all right, so these are Furitech cells. I'm going to get more into those probably later on because we can't really collect all of them yet uh, in any area because you have to have a fully upgraded jetpack to collect all of them. So that's kind of unfortunate that you do need that, but 
That's just kind of the way it is. Poxmart is now open. Stand under the saucer to access the Poxmart. Let's do it. All right, so the Poxmart. At the Poxmart, you can purchase upgrades for your weapons, jetpack, and shields. It doesn't mention that you can do it with your shields. Collect Furitech cells to buy upgrades at the Poxmart. So like here, we can upgrade the Zapomatic uh, six total times. It requires quite a few Furitech cells. Don't worry, there's enough Furitech cells to upgrade every single upgrade in the game. The jetpack is one of the first things we want to focus on for getting other Furitech cells because you need the fully upgraded jetpack to get everything. Uh, the dislocator is one of the last weapons you should upgrade because it's pretty useless. And then we have all sorts of other weapons along the way. So guys, I think that's a good stopping point for our first video. I hope you guys are going to be as enthusiastic about this Let's Play as I am. I am very excited for it. I've been waiting for this for so long. Next time, we will take on our next story mission, which has something to do with repairing the saucer. So, see you guys then.